Regardless of whether you're new to 3D printing or you've been around for a while, chances are you've heard somebody give you the advice to dry your filament when you're confused about certain printing issues that you're getting. All 3D printing filament is actually hygroscopic, which means it's going to absorb moisture from the air and basically retain that moisture. And unless you live in a place that has basically no relative humidity, then chances are certain materials are going to start to take on that moisture. And the conventional wisdom from several years ago used to be, well, bake your filament in an oven or purchase a food dehydrator and dehydrate your filament that way. Well, this is 2024 and we have an army of amazing companies in the 3D printing space making really cool purpose-built products for different things. And one of those companies is FixDry, who sent us over this knob filament dehydrator for us to be able to show off, make review videos, and just use in our daily printing tasks. So today we're going to talk about what a filament dehydrator is for, who needs one, and show you how to use this awesome little guy. Before we dive too deep in, I want to explain how exactly moisture trapping your filament can actually impact your print quality. There's going to be a few different ways, but basically, PLA is going to tend to get brittle on the spool as it starts to absorb moisture. And that can cause issues where you have filament breaking in the extruder path and might result in errors and your prints not completing because this brittle filament snap, which is also going to likely increase your chance of the part that you're printing not being the strongest that it could be. A material like PETG, while it's not going to break on the spool because it's more flexible than PLA, you're going to have some extra stringiness, which a material like PETG is already known for being kind of a stringy and sticky mess. And it's also going to leave a less than satisfactory surface finish because as this moisture is being heated up inside the hot end of your 3D printer, it has to escape because you're actually heating the filament past water's evaporation point. So you may hear a snap, crackle, pop, some hissing coming from your hot end. And if that's a noise that you've ever heard, chances are the filament that you're printing with is just plain old waterlogged. And there's other materials like nylon, for example, which if you pull nylon out of the bag to use, you should dehydrate it before you ever even try to print with it or else you're going to be in for a bad time. So purpose-built companies like FixDry with their knob dehydrator are looking to solve that problem. And I do wanna show you guys how to use this unit. And I wanna talk about some of the things that make it really convenient and an awesome piece of kit. Basically, you have a single spool filament dehydrator, which doubles as kind of a dry box, and you can actually print from this. As you can see, I have a piece of Bowden tube hanging out the side of this guy, and there is an outlet on the other side as well, which I'll show you in a close-up. What's really nice is there's not a crazy interface for you to have to navigate. Basically, all you have to do is just twist the knob in the front to your desired temperature. And there's actually a handy cheat sheet right here on the front, which will show you, hey, set PLA at 50 degrees Celsius. And your owner's manual is gonna tell you how long that PLA needs to be dehydrating. We did unbox and actually test this out during a live stream. And we have been using this in the background for some upcoming projects. I'd love to show you some before and after prints. However, we have some upcoming projects that I don't wanna give away all the details with but I've been very happy with the performance of this machine. When it comes to actually using the knob dehydrator, operation could not possibly be more simple. Basically, the lid is held on with magnets, so all you have to do is just grab and pull your lid off, set it off to the side, and then now you have a choice. If you need to dehydrate your favorite spool of PETG, in my case, it's Purple Rain from Greengate 3D. This is some awesome filament, and this particular spool is 100% recycled plastic, which is very exciting. You can actually just take and insert your spool of filament into the dehydrator as it is. And basically put the lid on, set it to temperature, and PTG, according to our cheat sheet, should be set to 65 degrees Celsius. Now, I didn't actually run the filament through the Bowden tube. I just set it inside the unit. And that's because maybe I'm going to just dehydrate this for long-term storage, but Purple Rain, there's no such thing as long-term storage. I just wanna print with this stuff because it is gorgeous. And that leaves us with our other solution. Basically, if you remove the filament from the housing, then you can actually unclip the spool from however you're having it managed. And what I have found to be the easiest for me is to actually unwheel a bit of the filament from the spool and then feed it through the Bowden tube. 
before you try to get the filament inside of the dehydrator. And keeping tension on the spool to avoid tangles, you're going to slowly feed it through the Bowden tube until it's at a point where it's entirely reachable. And you'll see it's going to poke through the end here, which now I can actually grab that, that little length of filament. So we'll go ahead and reinsert this guy, pull on our tail to basically pull the spool back into tension. And now this dry box is set up to also be able to be printed from. So it's actually going to double as a spool holder. So even if you're not actively drying the filament, if you want it to stay dry, you can just print directly from this box and you're going to know what the relative humidity of the enclosure is because there is a hygrometer built right into the display. In fact, the hygrometer is the only part of the display of this machine, which makes it really simple and very easy to operate. So once you have the lid on, now this is sealed up pretty well and you can actually go ahead and turn it on, let it dehydrate for two hours and get to printing with it. So we've talked about what a dehydrator does. It pulls trapped moisture out of filament. We've talked about how to utilize this fixed dry filament dryer. So now we're going to take a look a little bit closer at some of the things that make this one really awesome. Starting with the control interface. Again, this one is called the knob dehydrator and that's because the only control is this knob. There's no complicated LCD screen to navigate through like some dehydrators I've used in the past, which means the process is really streamlined. Around the back of the machine, you're going to find a regular old power switch and a big bump out. So you're going to have the heating element as well as an extraction fan right here. An issue that we had with filament dehydrators of the past is they had no way for the extracted moisture to escape, which resulted in the user, you, having to cut holes in the dehydrator to mod in like a small part cooling fan or something of the sort to be able to actually pull that trapped moisture out. Well, Fixture, I thought of that, and this is going to actively extract that moisture from inside the unit, which means the screen readout, the hygrometer, as you see that number going down, you know that the trapped moisture inside of here is actually leaving the machine. You know your filament is being dried and it's not going to be just left in a hot and humid environment. It's going to get very dry in here and stay very dry, which means that you're going to be able to print some really amazing PETG parts off with this, no issue. In terms of actually using this as a spool holder essentially when you're not dehydrating or actively dehydrating say if you're printing a nylon material there is actually going to be two roller bearings down on the bottom of this so the filament's able to rotate very smoothly through operation let's see if you can see this i am going to actually go ahead and just pull on my filament and it just pulls super smooth on those bearings which is nice and since we're in a pretty tight bowden tube I can actually just walk this back and re-roll up my spool of filament. But you want to be careful to not pull all the filament back through so it's very easy to access at the end of your Bowden tube. A simple dehydrator like this one is going to be awesome to have in your workflow because you can use it for all of your common 3D printing filaments. PLA, ABS, PETG, PVA, which is really cool if you have an IDEX machine to make soluble supports. You can also use this for even more engineering grade materials like nylon and polycarbonate. So if you're doing something more advanced, you can ensure you're getting the best print quality possible. With a regular price tag of around $69.99 US and regularly on sale for around $43.99, the Fix Dry NT1 Knob Dehydrator is really competitively priced to many other dehydrators for single spool use. And personally, I think that the value proposition here is for that investment of say 45 to 70 dollars you're getting a quality dehydrator with a temperature range of 45 celsius up to 70 celsius with a built-in hygrometer which will tell you the moisture reading inside of the enclosure that you can print directly from with an active fan to pull moisture outside of the dehydrator itself is a really solid one and the reason for that is basically you're going to spend that money one or a couple of times, maybe if you're investing in several small dehydrators like this one, if you're in a really humid environment. But for those really hygroscopic materials like PETG or nylon, you're going to save so much money in wasted material and scrapped prints that I think that the value is really there. 
eventually a machine like this from your time and energy and wasted filament would pay for itself. Basically, you have to kind of look at it as an investment, a tool in your workshop. Not all tools are always going to be the most exciting, but this is an exciting one to me because of the amount of money that it could save you. No more ruining spools of filament in the oven because your oven wouldn't go below 350 degrees or something wild like that. You don't have to worry about plastic particulates in your family's dehydrator they use to make jerky. You have a purpose-built machine that's designed to give you the best possible print qualities of your materials with a simple, clean, easy-to-use interface from a company who is making really quality products. Personally, throughout the use of this, I have been really happy with how the machine operates, how easy it is to use, and the instructions that were provided by FixDry. There's not really a lot that you can mess up with this thing. It does exactly what it needs to do. It gets warm and it extracts the moisture from the actual unit itself. It's very easy to load filament into it. And I think that for the money, it's a pretty hard value to beat when you're not wasting filament anymore. Dry your spools.